Hello, welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. If you're dealing with the Scorpio, this is going to be a love read. So let's see what the Scorpio has in their heart for you. Let's be. All right. What does the Scorpio have in their heart for Pisces? Okay. I don't know what to do. I'm going to take them both. <laughs> Scorpio got some stuff in their heart for you, Pisces. Maybe we have so many differences and I just can't meet your standards. So this Scorpio is feeling like you got a high standard that they simply just might not qualify for. Okay, so there are problems. Okay, next card. Wish you could put yourself in my shoes to understand how I feel. So Pisces, this Scorpio is feeling like you got this unbelievable high standard. And they wish that you can understand it or feel it or see it from their point of view. Right? So let's figure out what this is. Okay? That the Scorpio is feeling in their heart about you. You have high standards and they wish you could put yourself in their shoes to see how they feel. All right. So four swords is showing up for the Scorpio and Pisces energy. Okay. So this person wants to recover this relationship. Okay. They don't, they, they want to recover this. They don't want this to end. You guys may have been together for a long time, have a lot of history. Okay. Yeah, you, you guys been together for a while. Y'all have a lot of history and y'all have had a lot of successful times, right? This person recognizes that there's still potential here. There could still be success in this relationship. The moon, okay? This, this Scorpio feels like you're projecting off of your inner self. Like you're living in a fantasy world or that you're afraid to get too deep in with someone. Okay, it's like kind of like three stories I'm getting with this moon. One is that you're afraid to get deep with someone. Soon as you, you feel like your feelings are getting too deep, you do things to kind of like sabotage it. Two, this person is feel like feeling like, okay, you're projecting off of your own self, you know, being illuminated by your own thoughts, your own dreams, your own visions. And, and you may be kind of expecting um someone perfect that does not exist when it comes to your standards three that that, that they're afraid of losing you okay they're afraid of losing you right so the scorpio feels like they wish that you could put yourself in their shoes right they they maybe your standards may be a little bit too high and they may not qualify anymore okay but they feel like come on pisces that's a far stretch. Like we've been together for some time and let's recover our relationship. We still can have success. We just have to move past our differences and fears that we have with each other. What's crossing that energy is the five of pentacles. They feel like this relationship is, is, is lacking something, maybe stability. Okay, so let's, let's hop into it. So what does the Scorpio want to recover from? Why do they want to recover this relationship? Okay, we got the five of cups coming out okay they feel like that they have focused on a lot of negativity about you right they feel like this relationship has been um predominantly predominantly for them on the sadder part right not that they don't love you it's just that you make them sad right because they can't meet your standards right so they want to heal from that they want to recover from that they wondering when did your standards ever get so high right so why is this scorpio sad right because they want to move forward with you in a confident way pisces this scorpio still feels like you're their soulmate and that you 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 all still have a future okay what is this future that the scorpio sees with pisces Okay, a future full of love. Okay, yes, there are obstacles. Yes, there's going to be challenges, but it don't take away the love that I have for you. I don't care how high your standards has become. 
I still, I'm still in love with you. I'm just sad that I'm starting to feel like I can't meet your qualifications because you went on your spiritual journey, healing journey. Something changed in you, Pisces. And it makes your person sad because they feel like they don't qualify to be your man or your woman anymore. And they really just want to recover uh, from this situation. Whatever they done to make you feel like, okay, that's a no. Whatever new found belief or awakening, okay, or whatever new awakening you had, it they just feel like you and them are not on the same page anymore, right? And they want you to see things from their perspective, to see how they feel, right? Because this person is inspired to continue with you, okay? So Pisces, that's the energy of your person. They feel like we've been together a long time. You know, we have a lot of history together. We have a lot of love in our hearts for each other. So I want to know what happened. What made your standards change? What made Pisces standards change? Okay, we have the Empress. Okay, Pisces, you learn to value yourself more. You, you learn to treat yourself as if you are precious cargo, right? You, you just started valuing yourself more. You change your perspective. You look at things different. And you and your person may not be on the same page. So it's like if you did go on the healing journey, if you did all of a sudden have it, having this awakening, you and your person may not be on the same terms. Some people, when they awaken, you know, they start dieting, they start fasting, they stop eating certain things, they start working out more, they start getting in touch with nature. On the other hand, you may have a, par a partner that's partying and drinking and still low vibration and you know sometimes that just don't mesh well together but i don't know exactly what it is but those are the energies that i'm getting pisces you started to change when you went on the healing journey and now that you've learned to value yourself you know you you just on a different level from your person but they want you to be able to put yourself in their shoes because it's like, hey, we got all this history together. We've been together. Like, I'm doing the same things you used to do with me. Now, all of a sudden, you better than me. And it's not that you feel like you better than them. It's just you elevated yourself. You learning to value yourself, to love yourself. So if you was drinking, smoking, or whatever it is people do to damage their bodies, you just simply not doing it no more. And the way your person still may be doing it is just differences, okay? So Pisces, you started to value yourself more here, right? You started fighting for what you believe in, right? You started learning the truth about things. And when you know better, you do better. I feel like that's simply the case right here. And your person thinks that you done went up on this pedestal and that they beneath you now. And they want you to feel their pain. They want you to feel what they feel. Right. Just because you healing don't mean we got to break up or don't mean I'm less than you. So this is like the argument here. This is what your person feels in their heart. They feel like ever since you went on your spiritual journey, your healing journey, ever since you start doing Reiki or listening to meditation music, whatever it is you do to get in, in the energy of uh, preserving yourself, loving yourself, meditation, affirmations, whatever it is you doing. It's taking you away from the things that you used to do. And your person ain't on that same journey as you. And they still doing the same things you used to do. And that's the difference. They just want you to understand that they didn't change. You did. So Pisces fighting for what they believe in here. And Pisces still love you too, Scorpio. Pisces still have a lot of love for you too. Pisces may be wanting you to make some changes in your life if you want to continue their love for you is overflowing and isn't stopping they still see this as a pisces still see this as a successful relationship scorpio so it's more good that happened in this relationship than the bad the pros outweigh and the cons here so let's see what type of successful things is going on inside of this connection even through the change. What what is what is the success? Okay, I saw the nine of pentacles and the four of wands, which means y'all still have a stable home. Okay. So what's what is successful? Okay. There hasn't been a decision made to separate. Okay, so that's good. Okay, what else is successful in this relationship? Okay. The tower in reverse. It's not over yet. 
You know, and I say yet because the tower in reverse feels like someone refusing to let go, refusing to be the change they want to see. So it's like Scorpio, Pisces giving you a chance, you know, they may be just outgrowing you here and you just refusing to grow or change or make a decision to change to have a more successful life. A long lasting life, a life where you could survive it. You know, a lot of people, you know, changing their life now. A lot of people are having awakenings. A lot of people are going on spiritual and healing journeys. A lot of people are starting to exercise and work out and get in touch with nature. A lot of people are really changing and a lot of beliefs are falling apart. But Scorpio, with this tower, your energy. It just feels like you're the one at a standstill. You're the one refusing to compromise, okay? But Pisces isn't trying to leave you. Pisces isn't trying to break up with you. Pisces still love you, right? You all are still together. But there are changes that need to be made if you want to stay together, right? Because if you doing one thing and Pisces doing another, over time... It may just crumble if we can't balance this out. Okay, so let's see what other successes. Okay, the Queen of Wands. Okay, you guys are observing each other like crazy. My bad. You guys are watching each other like cats and dogs. Okay, y'all are two proud people, very strong personalities. Two hardworking people who loves to fight for what they believe in. And this Queen of Wands represents confidence and success. So on one hand, you got Pisces that feels like they're succeeding on their healing journey. And they're more confident in their physical, emotional, spiritual appearance, whatever. Scorpio, you proud, you know, as you are, you, you are who you are and you have a strong personality and you feel like you succeeding too, but in your own way, on your own time, doing your own thing. Okay. So everybody's feeling like they having success, but not with each other. Okay. This is the energy, the moon. Let's see what's going on with this moon card. Okay. Justice in reverse. Scorpio, I feel like you not trying to break your habits or your cycles, okay? Why is Scorpio not, okay, Scorpio, I'm starting to feel like you're afraid to change. You're afraid of change, okay? Why is Scorpio afraid of change? Star in reverse. I don't think that is you're afraid to change. I think that you don't see nothing wrong. With the way you are and the way you've always been. Okay? You you just existed. Sorry, Scorpio. I, I mean, I'm not trying to come for you. But it's just like, whatever you believe, okay, isn't what Pisces believe. Whatever healing journey Pisces on, you ain't trying to go that route. Hell, you still want to eat meat. Hell, you still want to eat pork. Hell, you still want to smoke. You still want to drink. You know, you still want to go to the club. You still want to park a lot, pimp. You still want to do your thing, right? You perfectly okay with your cycle. You don't see nothing wrong with your cycle. You see Pisces trying to project their healing energies off onto you, right? And, and you don't feel like you need to change. You don't feel like you need to pour into whatever healing Pisces is doing. That's your thing. But you just want Pisces to see things from your point of view. You wish that they could put themselves in your shoes, right? You feel like Pisces done got all high and mighty with their standards. Pisces don't eat meat no more. Pisces don't hang with the ratchet no more. Pisces don't go to the club no more. Pisces don't smoke no more. Pisces ain't drinking no more. Okay, we on two different waves in life. And that's just the energy here. Let's get one more for this moon. Okay, it's the three of swords. Okay, somebody's about to be heartbroken because it's too difficult to coexist together now. Now that we on two different paths. 
Pisces, I think you feel like you already walked in Scorpio shoes. You already understand what Scorpio coming from because you already lived this life with Scorpio. We got a lot of history together. Scorpio, maybe, you know, you know, your standards just, you, you just raised the bar on me while we're in this connection. You just switched up while we were together. And now all of a sudden I'm not good enough. That hurts. That hurts a person. But Pisces, it hurts you to remain the same. It hurts you to keep doing things to destroy your physical, mental, and emotional health. I mean, Pisces, you took your, you made your choice. You chose to heal. And it's not your fault if your person isn't ready and you can't make them be ready and you can't push it off on them. You know, and, and, and this is just the energy, you know, let's see what's crossing it. The seven of pentacles. Okay. But with this seven of pentacles, I feel a sense of sadness, you know, that this, this person standing there looking like, damn, you know, I really wanted something to come out of this. You know, I, I invested a lot into this, you know, but I, I guess things aren't meant to be happening when you want them to happen they happen when they supposed to happen so don't think that neither one of you scorpio or pisces don't think that your investments was wasted there were valuable lessons learned here and maybe in time things will probably most likely balance themselves out but right now you all are just on two different waves in, in life Yes, it's true. Pisces could have changed in the midst of your connections. Pisces are known to go through a whole lot of transformations within a connection when they with somebody. And Pisces will openly express to you what they're going through, how they feel, and what it's doing to them. If you couldn't pick up on that, that's not Pisces' fault. Pisces has the right to heal and make better choices for their life. And so do you. But if you're not ready then you're not ready. It doesn't mean you will never get to that point, Pisces. That is just that you're not there now. And they are. And that's the difference. So with this connection, it's all about differences. And the love is still there. The love is still there. It's just difficult and heartbreaking that these changes happen when they happen. Okay, so I hope it resonated, Pisces and Scorpio. Let's get a word from the Chakra Wisdom to promote positivity to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we can say to ourselves each and every day. Ooh, we got two throat chakras. We got one that's expressing my feelings and we got the other one that's willpower and determination. Okay, so Scorpio, I'm gonna get expressing my feelings to you. I'm gonna read that one for Scorpio. I'm gonna read willpower and determination for Pisces, right? So, Pisces, I set clear boundaries for my own behavior and I cultivate a strong will by being true to myself. That's why I fucking love you, Pisces. I love this for you because this ain't easy either. This is difficult to do, to stand your ground, to be who you want to be when you deeply in love with somebody and they just ain't going the way you going. Okay, let me stop. Okay, I use my willpower to accomplish my daily tasks and spiritual goals and to encourage uplifting thoughts and behavior in, in myself. Doing this will assist me on the next stage of my physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual growth. I stay in touch with my positive thoughts and truth by avoiding substance abuse. Okay, my will is strong and my mind is clear. And that's what it is, Pisces. You just making the change. You being the change you want to see. Scorpio, expressing my feelings, okay? I allow my emotions to be fully experienced. I acknowledge feelings of grief, anger, or fear, and I make a conscious effort to express my emotions or resolve them within myself so I can move forward freely. Okay, I get it. I let the unconditional love experienced in my heart be expressed through my voice and my creativity. I let those close to me know how much I love and care for them. I forgive all those who've done me wrong in the past as well as forgiving myself as I could not have responded in a more evolved way than I was able to at the time. So for Scorpio, it was like I did my best and what I couldn't do, I tried. 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, I still love you unconditionally, but I understand that we changed right in front of each other's eyes. And that's how Scorpio feel. We change in front of each other's eyes and Pisces feel like I got a mission. I have a greater purpose. I'm determined and I got to have the will to make sure that my physical, mental, emotional and spiritual uh, health is growing and that I'm not being stagnant and that I'm not staying in the same spot and that I'm leaving the substance abuse alone and my mind is clear. My will is strong. I'm just on my on my dean. And Scorpio, you just in your feelings about Pisces being on a dean. So this is the energy. I hope it resonated. Expressing my feelings, willpower, and determination is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. Pisces and Scorpio, this is all I have. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.